Hey everyone, so today I am doing a little bit of book shopping. I am at Barnes & Noble, so I thought I would do a little Barnes & Noble shopping vlog just for funsies so y'all can come with me. I don't know exactly which books I'm getting, but I have a few in mind. I really just want to look around and shop around, get some new books for the new year. I actually really just unhauled a ton of books. I brought a bunch of books to my local library that I have had for years. If you watched uh, one of my last vlogs, I showed all of the boxes of books that I had in my like bookshelf filming room that were in storage while I started pharmacy school and and I went through those boxes of books and pretty much got rid of all of them because they were all from years and years ago right at the beginning of my channel all of those books that I got from book outlet and all of that I feel like most booktubers have a similar story um, you get so wrapped up in the book community and you just end up buying all of the books that you see and I think book lovers in general do that oh yay someone's parking next to me you know what, I'm just gonna keep talking and he can think that I'm super weird, but it's okay. So yeah, anyway, I got rid of a ton of books the other day, so I thought, why not buy a few more that I'm actually really excited for, that I'm interested in. I get so many books for review from publishers and authors, which is amazing, and I'm so grateful for it. It's always a fun time getting books in the mail, for sure. But I often don't let myself go book shopping and actually buy books that I'm, you know, wanting in that moment or that I'm interested in reading myself and choosing books for myself so I decided to treat myself today because I don't have work thought it'd be fun to come book shopping so yeah I just want to get some new books for the new year so let's go inside <laughs> I did some damage <laughs> it is so hard to pick between books when you're shopping because they all sound so good i set myself a budget and i reached that budget but i was right at it so i didn't do too bad in my opinion i do have a barnes and noble member card so i get a little bit of a discount i'm really excited for the books that i got and um i didn't get a ton of footage in the store because there's a lot of people around and i didn't want to be weird and plus there's a lot of music playing so uh, you probably wouldn't be able to hear me anyway but yeah there were a few books that I was like oh my gosh I don't know which one to get should I get this one or this one but I ended up getting both so you know whatever I guess I'll go ahead and do my little haul now um I thought about just waiting and like doing it at home or incorporating it in a haul video but I might just do like a little exclusive haul in this vlog and I won't show these books in my next official haul. The first book I got is a little out of my comfort zone but I've been reading more adult books lately so I figured I need to branch out and this book comes highly recommended from Heather at Bookables so I trust her and although this summary of this book doesn't totally suck me in I decided to trust Heather and I got Bear Town by Frederick Backman. This book is about a really small town in a forest where there's an ice rink and there's this team that's practicing for a hockey game, hockey tournament, semifinal match or something. It's apparently a big deal. I'm not a hockey person. So that's one thing that kind of like I, I was unsure about this book, but um, apparently something happens while they're practicing. 
I don't know. It says the semifinal match becomes the catalyst for a violent act that will leave a young girl traumatized in a town in turmoil. This one I picked up on a whim. I feel like I've seen this cover like all around Instagram and booktube. It's a really beautiful cover so I think that's why but I didn't know much about it. The Goodreads reviews are really good and that book is Sadie by Courtney Summers. I know Courtney Summers has written quite a few other books. This is a YA mystery thriller. I always have hope for YA mystery thriller books that they're gonna be amazing because I have read quite a few amazing YA mystery books but I feel like a lot of them end up letting me down so hopefully this isn't one of those um it has great reviews but so did we were liars but this one's about a girl who like calls into a radio show and says like they need to figure out um like tells them that they need to figure out what happened to this girl that went missing oh it's about a girl that has no idea that her story will soon become the subject of a blockbuster podcast she just wants revenge but she follows a meager set of clues hoping they'll lead to a man who took Maddie's life. So I love true crime murder mystery podcasts so this definitely interests me. I did a whole video on all of the true crime podcasts that I've ever listened to so I'll link it below. Definitely go check it out because I talked about some really great ones. If you're not into podcasts it's a great area of podcasts to get into because they are so addictive so it's kind of dangerous because you just end up wanting to listen to all of them. But anyway Sadie hopefully it's good. Next I got under a painted sky by stacy lee so i've heard that this book takes place on like the oregon trail it takes place in 1849 um it follows a chinese girl in missouri that loves music and all she wants to do is like pursue her music career in new york but her and her friend end up getting into trouble with the law it was just self-defense but they ended up getting in trouble anyway and so they decide to take their chances on the frontier i love historical reads i haven't really read much set in this time period i feel or, or like on the oregon trail so that's mostly what made me want to pick up this book this next book i was unsure about but it was on a 50 percent off rack so I said why not give it a shot and it does have really good reviews on Goodreads but I've never seen anyone talk about it on like Instagram or Twitter or booktube maybe I just missed it but um I feel like I haven't seen many people talk about it but again my hopes of a good YA mystery thriller got me so I picked up After the Fire by Will Hill so this summary is really vague but I think it's about a girl basically all she knows is that she can't go outside the fence and that she she lives with a bunch of rules says disobeying father john can come with terrible consequences outside there are different truths and then the last line says then it came the fire patrick ness is quoted saying that it's thrilling and spellbinding i love patrick ness so that really sold me on this book so i hope it truly is thrilling and spellbinding this next one i had to get it's the hate you give by angie thomas um i know it's shameful that I, have, that I haven't bought this book yet. I checked out the audiobook from the library back in 2018 and I listened to maybe like a fourth of it and I had to return it because I was reading a bunch of other books at the time and I didn't get to finish it and there's a huge wait list for the library uh, audiobook version of this book because of course you know everyone wants to read it with the movie and everything so I really enjoyed what I listened to so far but it is um, one of my goals in 2019 to read this book. Another book that I should have read like a year ago is The Cruel Prince by by Holly Black. So The Cruel Prince is a really really hyped up book and I've heard amazing things about it and I've heard really bad things about it. I've heard people say that it is not worth the hype and that it is not good and I've heard people say it's the most amazing book ever. So I am going to try not to get my hopes up and just go in with like an open mind and you know maybe I will love it just like everyone else or if I don't like it oh well. Um, I did not buy the second book. I was tempted to buy The Wicked King. Uh, you know me I love buying sequels before I even read the first book because I'm like what if I finish the first book and I love it so much and I just need the second one I I resisted um mainly because it's a hardback and it was like 20 bucks but the Wicked King has a beautiful cover especially the Barnes and Noble special edition I love that cover way more than the original cover so that was really tempting but I just figured if I finish this and I love it I can always order it online I hope I love it but 
I'm going in skeptical. And lastly, I got The Dark Days Deceit by Allison Goodman. This is the third and final book, I believe. Yes, the third and final book in the Dark Days Club trilogy. I've done reviews on both the Dark Days Club and the Dark Days Pact, the first and second book in the series. And when I saw this, I was like, oh my gosh, the third book is out. I have to get it. I have to read it. Um, this series is crazy, but it's so good. It, I would say it's kind of like the infernal devices is set in the 1800s i think i'm so bad with years y'all yes it's set in the 1800s early 1800s and um there's magic and demons and it's all about this secret society that kills the demons and protects the humans and we follow a girl who gets sucked up in this secret society and of course there's crazy romance everything is very scandalous you know so um i love this series and i can't wait to see how it all wraps up all right so those are all of the books that i just bought at barnes and noble let me know in the comments of course if you've loved any of these books and your thoughts let me know your favorite place to shop for books um i used to always shop at books a million because they had a great clearance section but they closed the one that is by my house so i um canceled my membership there and now i'm a barnes and noble member we don't have a ton of independent bookstores where i am or i would probably try to frequent those a little bit more just because i love supporting bookstores and i just love going in and looking at books so i like to come in and support my local barnes and noble of course i still buy books online but um i just love coming here so yes that's it i'm going to head home now while i'm driving i just started an audiobook called and the trees crept in and i don't know who it's by off the top of my head i saw it on between chapters youtube channel she recommended it and she said the audiobook was super creepy and really good and i will tell you it is extremely creepy but very good no it's so creepy like i had goosebumps i don't get scared or creeped out easily but this book is really creepy and like she said i love the production there's so much background music and noises and sounds and stuff and i think that's super cool so i'm gonna listen to that on my way home and be thoroughly creeped out so i will see y'all next time thank you so much for watching bye